Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello, great to see all of you out there. And how you doing, John? I'm doing great. Uh, welcome, everybody, to Celebrating Act 2. By the way, I heard a rumor, John, that uh, you might have had a little gas. Are you okay? <laughs> well, well, I'll tell you, Art, it was gas at 7-Eleven. Oh, what did you get the burrito? Of course, if, if you went to 7 Eleven, of course you <laughs> got the bean gas. burritos again. Yeah, I was on my way to Costco, which is where I buy my gas because it's cheapest we right. can find. And uh, we knew prices of gas were going up, but I my light was on and I wasn't going to make it to Costco. Right. So I had to stop. The nearest gas station was 7 Eleven. So I stopped at 7 Eleven. You, you, you should have siphoned the gas out of Penny's car. That's what I should have done. <laughs> and then I would have got a different kind of gas. All I got was two gallons. Two gallons, that's all I needed just to get to Costco, right? Mm. $4.19 a gallon. Wow. That's that's the highest I think I've ever paid. I'm not sure. Um, but well, Paid recently. Oh, no. Yeah, I remember it was $455 and some oh, kind of Oh, that's gas. right. I was yeah. trying to think how high and it was. By the way, for you lucky folks that don't live in California, yeah. gas-wise, okay, and you're used to paying two fifty a gallon, like in Georgia or someplace, you're you're getting the same problems. You're in the in the three dollar range uh, yourself. Yeah, but it, you know, it, you, folks, if you don't live in California, you can't imagine how it hurts to hear the news mm. about how the national price of gas has gone all the way up to three bucks. You know, <laughs> and we're we're paying four dollars and nineteen cents. And we haven't seen three bucks since. Uh, 19 or something or other. Yeah. Since, uh, well, since Jimmy Carter. Yeah. Because <laughs> he with of... inflation now. He he win. We, we, <laughs> he was a winner. I don't remember <laughs> anybody winning inflation. Don't you remember t- uh, gas lines uh, on even days with the... I sure do. But that yeah. wasn't... The gas lines weren't basically... No, that's because we didn't have supply. That was the uh, Iranian the Arab, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, or the Arab. OPEC. Whatever. Yeah, OPEC. OPEC. Uh, blockade or whatever it was. Um, But yeah, it's inflation. We're dealing with inflation. My beef here is that inflation hits old people, people on a fixed income, people over 60 primarily, hits us worse. We get the brunt of it. Um, And they're not, years ago, the government changed the, which is the greatest scam in the whole world. The government gets to measure everything, right? So, they don't want inflation. They changed the measurement for inflation. They took out fuel, energy, and they took out food. Why did they take those prices out of the inflation index? Well, because they are the first to be inflated. They're the ones that are the most of what we buy, energy and food, right? Uh, I, you know, I always love when, you, when you're able to excise yourself by blaming somebody else for it. But the, there were different oh, people. Oh, I'm sorry. The government's not to blame. I did it. I no. raised the price of gas. I'm so sorry to everybody. No, I think, at least here in California, we have summer gas and we have rest of the year gas. And we've been doing this now only for about the 20 years or so that I've been here that I remember. Right. And it seems that magically, in about a month or two period of time when they switch over to summer gas, and then a month or two time when they switch back to some other kind of gas for the winter, the prices always go up for three, four weeks in between, like by 20 cents a gallon, because they haven't been at this radio be- rodeo before. It seems like they're always learning. They, they, they seem to take down uh, uh, processing plants for maintenance at the same time. And sure. they take, so I think that the manipulation really has more to do with uh, the uh, uh, gas companies, the gas suppliers. And yes, I do agree that there is a, we're beginning to see some amount of inflation now, but also crude oil was really low for a long period of time, has just gone up like about 40, 50 uh, Well, yeah, a, a and do you, think, do you think the fuel oil going up is because of manipulation too? Absolutely. No. Absol- no. Absolutely. No. Okay. There, by, by OPEC, by the, uh, uh, the suppliers, and so on and so forth, <clears throat> because it happens every year. Art, it doesn't, it, it, this price, this inflation that we're going through now is beyond 
the the seasonal inflation that you're talking about every time because it's in California, right? In California, we switch over to the. Uh, I'm not saying that's the seasonal. I'm and, saying that's that's one thing where they they change anyway, and no, we're no, caught no, no, in no, that but, right but, now. But now we're going. We've got inflation across the country. All gas has gone up all across the country, and no other state is doing the seasonal blend that we're doing. We pay more during the summer than we do during the winter. That's a given. And every time we switch up and switch down, it the price goes up 20 cents a gallon or down 20 cents a gallon after a couple of weeks of them banking all the money in the change. Yeah. But, the, but the point is that that's seasonal. That happens every year. This inflation is on top of that. Art. John, you know, this our, our audience is so lucky that they have two uh, uh, master master debaters, master yes. debaters <laughs> about something which they have the same kind of vague information and knowledge that our audience has, yeah. yet we're willing to express it as if it's fact. Well, <laughs> I, happen to, I happen to watch some of the news some of the time, so I'm uh, probably somewhat more informed i think yeah okay. no yeah. listen of course the of course the industry manipulates prices to whatever degree they can but they don't man manipulate it to the point that you're talking about we're talking about inflation and the government is still not telling us there's a whole lot of inflation i'm feeling it tremendously when i'm paying four dollars and 19 cents a gallon they they're not saying this is great bad inflation. They're not comparing it to Jimmy Carter years. And I am. I'm saying this is this is on its way. Um, and the reason they're not doing it, they're not saying that, is because they don't count housing. Well, we're really lucky, they don't John, count food and gas prices. We're really lucky because we have some, even some retired people who are in our demographic, like uh, Alan Greenspan. And Alan, if you're watching, can perhaps we set up an interview so you can explain it to us because uh, John really believes that inflation is way out of whack right now. Uh, I'm not sure one way or the other because quite frankly, I stopped learning about these things yeah. so long ago and I just reacted to pump like everybody else. Well, so I, was, I can say so is I was that's happy obvious. as a Californian, stop learning about it I was happy to pay three ninety a gallon uh, the other day at Costco. Okay, you were happy and, about that. And it's Good. about 25 cents a gallon more at our local gas stations. And for you people in on the East Coast, particularly in the, in the uh, Southeast, right. uh, when you pick yourself off the floor laughing about what we're paying compared to what you're paying now, that is pissing you off because it's much higher than it was. Uh, somebody tell us how inflation is, is, is uh, wreaking havoc with your uh, budgets. Uh, and quite frankly, Yes, John, I think you're absolutely correct. People on fixed incomes, uh, every time it incomes, IRAs, things like that, uh, you get some help if the market's going up, but if the market's going down, then if you get dividends and things like that, that's all going down. So uh, maybe uh, our audience could share with us uh, as some, some of the ways that inflation and this economic situation is affecting you now. And by the way, I think we, even before we got on the air, we were talking about well, gas is more expensive now. One of the reasons is that people are getting out more. They're they're driving around uh, and things like they're, that. So, but, no, so there's more demand for gas and things. Yeah, look, there is that is contributing to inflation. All of a sudden, people are getting out. They're spending more. They're buying more things. And we've heard, I don't know to what degree it's true, but we've heard that the the supply line hasn't started filling right. uh, filling up to provide the products that all these people want now all of a sudden so sure that would be a temporary part of it but I don't think it's I, I don't think that it's the major cause of inflation I think there's a lot of factors at work here but I think the government has um, really caused m most of this inflation. And I'm not going to blame the damn pipeline by itself. I'm saying that there's a lot of factors that the government is doing and keeping interest rates particularly low and um, uh, causing uh, prices to go up elsewhere. And it's it, look, it's food and it's gas. That's what us older folks are spending our money on. And that's going to kill us. Well, John, and, we have to now, now that the 
uh, uh, the pandemic has lightened up a bit and we're going to probably wind up uh, meeting for our uh, uh, periodic uh, lunches from time to time, halfway in between our houses. Uh, I just want you to know if you need, I just went out because I was worried about them running out of toilet paper. So I got plenty of toilet paper. I, I went to Costco the other day. So yeah. if you need a couple of rolls, you let me know. Okay, good. Well, uh, when we meet for lunch, you come down here, okay? Uh, yeah, Cause, I'll cause come I'm down to halfway. Four, that, 419 yeah. to go meet you for lunch. <laughs> Great. Anyway, uh, see you soon. Uh, share with us anybody having problem with inflation or, you know. Yeah, is it, let's, is it... let's, hear, let's hear about it. Where, why do you think we're getting inflation? Is it just because, because as Art says, you know, just it's the, it's the evil industry raising prices? I don't think so. Or is it, is it all on John's head? Is John losing it totally? Well, it's my <laughs> fault, obviously, Art. It's yeah. My, it must be my fault, as you pointed out. Right. And and if you don't remember this in a couple of minutes, we all know that it's, you know, something we should be concerned about. But we but we still love you. Well, maybe that's maybe that's the real conspiracy at work here is they're making old people pay more because we won't remember the difference. There, there you go. <laughs> anyway, uh, great to see you, all, John. Great to see all you out there. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Yeah. And save your money because prices are going up. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.